great, man. The uh, fans was great. It was great to be in the woodshed. Um, first time in the woodshed with the fans there. Great environment. Um, it was emotional just to be on the sideline. It was a blessing to be back there and, and to be with this group uh, here that have been working so hard. I was just ready for to see those guys, what they do on the field, and, and they impressed me. But we still got a lot of work to do. Oh, that punt of that, that's great, man. Uh, it was good for him to do that and set us with good field position. It, it starts off great. Uh, it's hard for the guys to be able to come in there and just know, uh, go a wide open offense, um, close the offense down and give us good field position, get those guys confident. It brought a lot of energy too, man. The sideline went crazy when that punt went down like that. Uh, it was good energy. It was, it was pregame. Uh, pregame, it really hit me. Um, then running out the tunnel, just working with those guys in pregame, getting them ready, uh, seeing that emotion of just having that game day uh, feeling and then running out the tunnel and just hearing the crowd and, and getting those guys ready. Man, I went straight to the bench and said a prayer and just was thankful for being there. Great, man. Uh, Jacoby was one of the first guys I contacted when I got reached uh, about coming here and work at Michigan State because he just signed uh, signed here. I reached out to him and just asked about it. Uh, he hadn't been here, but he was on a visit here. Just asked him how the visit was and how the coaches was. But me and Jacoby been going back since ninth grade. Uh, we was at John Eric, my first year at John Eric was his ninth grade year. Um, Jacoby always been an athlete. He's been playing every position on the field. When I got first got there, he was a, a tight end quarterback. He was the backup quarterback and playing tight end. Um, but I used to every day he'd come over there and come by D line drills and, and act like he hitting the bag, like he going pass for his moves. And I'm like, man, this is gonna be your position. And then by the time his junior year, senior year, he moved over there to D line. Um, and then we started working and getting better. But I always knew that was gonna be his position. He always had a big size, but he always been a big athlete. It's been it was a grace of God, uh, just me coming here and then it was good it was good for me to come here just knowing he was here too. Him and Aaron Brule, I have history with those two. I've been working with Aaron when he was in high school also. Um, but just having history with those two guys, it was great. It was a good decision to be coming. And it was great. I, I knew it was gonna happen. He been he been having a good camp. Uh they had a good spring and then he had a good real good camp. I didn't expect four sacks, but I knew he could make some uh, make a difference in the game. Um but I was excited for him, man. It was just Happy just to see him out there doing that, uh, but it was expected though. Now I reflect like even one day it was at practice last week going into game week. Uh, Jacoby came to me, came off the field. He was doing team period. He came to man BT. We came a long way. You remember I was trying to play quarterback and we just was just at John Eric uh, not too long ago. Now we together and I'm playing D line. He said, man, we came a long way. So we both reflect and I reflect every every day getting on the field because I know it can't take it for granted because it always can be taken away. Now it's the same stuff. I was always, because I work with uh, the linebackers too, so I was always working with Jacoby every day. Uh, now he in the means with a little bit more, um, but now it's the same thing. And he still goes and do drills with the linebackers also, so he's a utility player. He's always been a utility player. I was watching, uh, so I watch on the run, just watch the far side, uh, watch the technique of the guys, and then on the pass, I was just seeing what the backs were doing, how the guys were setting, um, seeing what moves that I feel that could help the guys uh, when they rush. Um, so I was just giving those guys tips and reminders on that and then helping Coach Marco and uh, Coach Hazleton on the sideline. The whole D-line had a good, like like how I told those guys, it's four equals one. Kobe had a good game, but we rushed good four, four guys. Uh, four guys helped Jacoby win that rush. Sometimes Jacoby won and gave Chris a sack. Sometimes Chris and Harmon had a good rush and helped Jacoby out. So four equals one. So all the guys had a good uh Good day of rushing. I, I was I was pleased at what they did. But like I said, we we left a lot on the table. We could always get better. Bliss path. Um, watching their uses of hands, what moves they could use. Uh, uh, the guy they go against. If the guy overset them, if they could make an inside move. If they could have used their hands better. If they could have stayed on the edge right there. Have QB contained and things like that. Aaron, I've been knowing Aaron since ninth grade. Also, he he used to train at the facility I worked at. Uh, me and his dad real close. Um, but he used to work at. We trained at GLS. Um, I was working there. And he used to come there and train. But New Orleans is a real small city, so most of the athletes in New Orleans, I, I had my hands on. It was, a, it was I wouldn't say a no-brainer, but it, it kind of was. He was, we, during the whole camp, he was winning his rushes. He was dominating the pass rush. And um, and we just needed some help at, on, up front. Um, and I felt, I told the guys that Jacoby a good, a good good fit in there. And uh, and he took it on. He He's just ready to play. Like I said, he's a utility player, man. Um, he That's all how he always been. Shoot, he was... One year he was playing D-line, his senior year played D-line, quarterback went down in the playoff game, quarterback went down with cramps. Um, he, the last play of the game, probably like five, ten seconds left in the game, he got quarterback 40 yards uh, to go. He catched the ball, fumbled a snap, break a tackle, throw a Hail Mary, score a touchdown to win the game. Uh, so he's he always been an athlete. We had a, Coach Coleman had a good rotation with, for the guys up front. Uh, he was subbing them in and out. We played a lot of 
a lot of D linemen, some freshmen played, um, some guys vet played. So it was it was good for up front. It was good up front. Some good things out the, out of those guys. They had good energy uh, coming off the ball. They was running to the ball, using technique. Um, like everybody else, we, they still have stuff to clean up, uh, but everybody has stuff to clean up. So we just take that film and get better. All you can do is get better. That film is a great thing, a great tool to have. Oh, yeah, no doubt. He definitely has secondary moves, but coming off the field, that's the first thing he said. He said, man, BT, we got to get in the lab tomorrow, and let's get on some film, and let's watch some rushers in the NFL and college and see guys that rush like me and see what their counters they use. So he was, he already had it on his mind, and that's the thing I love about Kobe. He always want to get better. Yeah, he just he just have a rare ability to be able to bend, and and that was one thing he'd been having since high school. He'd been he'd been a bender guy, and uh, but he he has a toolbox. He just he got some things to show. Darius, we well we work with uh, Darius a lot. I work with Darius a lot during the season, um, during the uh, off season with uh, tra during training camp and things like that. It hurt, it hurts, but it's uh, everybody been working. So it's next man up. Darius a good guy, um, good kid, worker. Always had good energy. You got to keep coming in. And Aaron did a good job for me when he came in rush. He, first snap he came in, he got a sack. Um, and then he had some more rushes. So I think he, he, Aaron's good. He's, he's working. He's working. Chris doing, uh, doing well, man. Uh, he's working. He's a strong kid. He's learned how to use his power, uh, using his hands also. But he got good awareness of the pocket, knowing when to come underneath, knowing when to play high, knowing when to fall off the block and things like that. Uh, Chris got a good awareness. He's a good football mind, and he has good talent. Those guys have juice, but they always have juice, man. That's the thing I love about this group. They're workers. They always want to get better. Shoot, before, before uh, during camp, they was having good success, um, and, but they always want to get better. So they, I think they were more hungry there this week because they know they left some plays on the, on the field uh, that they could have made. Uh, they was hungry to hit the, uh, get extra work. I did some extra work with the guys out the field. I probably have 12 guys out there working on the line trying to get some extra work. So those guys are just hungry. Yeah, Jacoby just want to be the best. He want to be the best. He want to be the best for the team. Uh, whoever helps the team, and uh, he always had that mindset. He always gonna be hungry. Uh, just that's how his brother was. Also, they they that's just they, how their dad raised them. They always hungry. They always want to be better. And Kobe go work. He go do whatever it takes to work. He go watch the extra film. He go bring other guys with him to watch the film. When guys not having good uh, good practice, he gonna be the first one to say, "Man, let's pick that up. Then you should have made that play." So that's just his mindset a lot. Uh, Derek is a worker like all these guys. Like I said, that's that's the key thing about all these guys that, that go here and I coach. They, they all workers. But Derek is a worker. Um, he showed good strength, showed good get off. Um, he was able to collapse the pocket a good time. He helped a, a lot. One time on one of Kobe sacks, collapse in the pocket. Um, Derek, and the thing is, he's still young. He's still got a lot of room to improve. But he's, he's improving every day. Every day I see something better. He's finding things he need to work on to get better. And that's just his mindset of getting better. You know, to me, my mindset, I can't take a day off. I ain't make it yet. I ain't, I'm not the best. I, I still got to get better. So there's no time for me to take a day off. It's all, it's, Coach Tucker wanted to rush for. He wanted whatever it takes to win a game, to be honest with you. And, and us be able to rush for is a, is a plus, you know what I mean, because you can keep guys in coverage. But whatever it takes to win the game. But Coach Tucker, is, he's happy with what we're doing. And, and I know that it happened there because he was, he was a man with no position in high school. And then his last year, um, Trent, his last year playing, he was a full-time D lineman, and he was unstoppable, man. And I had three other guys on that D line that went Division One, um, and Kobe was making a lot of plays with, with those guys. So I knew he was—he should have had a higher opportunity. But I knew when he went to college, when he went to UNLV, they had a—they had a sleeper, and then he balled. And then when it was time for him to transfer, he contacted me first, saying he was going to transfer, and he wanted help for that. Pre-game, uh, pre-game, I was really soaking it in, and then, like I said, when running out the tunnel. Uh, that really got to me. And then that first sack, I think uh, Brule had the first sack. Uh, when he had the sack, I heard the crowd noise. It was, it was great, it was a great moment. Feel great here, man. It's like family. Everybody on the staff is a great staff. Uh, Coach Tucker's great. Coach Hazelton, Coach Marco, and uh, Vic is real close. We're real close. So they're like family for me. So and like I said, I've been on the road. Like man, when I'm training, I was on the road every week. Um, so now I got a place I can stay more stable, and, and I got a good family around here. Good. Uh, I had got a call from Coach uh, their oh, outside linebacker Charlie Butler, and then uh, Coach Cl Kingsbury reached out, and we just wanted me to work with their rookies a little bit because Chandler was gone. So did some things with them for a week um, just to get those rookies right and the rest of the outside linebackers right. It was a good experience just to be in football. It really got me prepped for for training camp. I had a training camp before I came here, so prepped me for that. But it was a great experience.